I was talking about leaving. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. All I want is for her to see that, you know, things can be good. What you want? A neighbor was calling in because he woke up to screaming at uh, his neighbor's house. And uh, he could hear someone, a female voice yelling, get off me, get off me. Is that running? Hello. Come on out here. Step outside. Sheriff's office. Come on with me over here. Um, I'd rather stay here. Okay. You can stay there. Amanda, I'll baby, come over here. here. I'll come over here. Why don't you relax, sir? Just relax. In the state of Florida, it's um, you know domestic violence. I always have a zero tolerance, and if we can determine a primary aggressor, then an arrest is preferred. And in this case, they were obviously having a lot of issues. It obviously got a lot more physical than what either of them described. We can see that by all, all the evidence. She was like all loopy, all don't crazy. Don't even worry about the tank for. We don't need any other units. <sighs> oh no! I just want to. You, you guys I, wrestling around, fighting each other? Um, Cause your chest is red. You got some marks all over, yeah, all over. You. So know, what was going on with that? We were on the bed and we were like rolling around. I I was just saying to her, look. Rolling around? Man, what do you hold on? What do you mean rolling around? Rolling around. I was holding her, rolling around, and like, you know, we were yelling at each other. Through the course of the investigation, we determined that he was holding her down at a time where she didn't want to be held down, and she vocalized that. Um, he admitted to that. She admitted to that. So at that point. He was a primary aggressor and an arrest was preferred. She was actually wanting to know when his first appearance would be and what, how much his bond would be and, and where she needs to go to bond him out of jail and where she needs to go to tell the judge to drop charges and she wants to drop charges. So she obviously didn't care about him going to jail but wanted him to get out as soon as possible. So we weren't trying to hurt each other. It was mostly me who was raising my voice. I understand that, but you got to look at the fact that he put his hands on you and tried to hold you he down on the bed. OK, but he didn't try to hurt me. He wrapped his arms around me, like hugging me. And, he, and you were trying to get up, is what you said, because you were going to leave him. And he didn't want you to do that, so then he put his hands on you. The jail personnel and the deputies in there have seen quite a few things. But um, I don't know if they've seen a guy coming in in his Superman boxers. So I'm sure they would have got a kick out of that. So before we did that, we, we went and got him some clothes from his fiance and made him dress appropriately before we sent him off to jail.